All right, hello and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, please do subscribe. So today we are back in our Tesla Model Y after our, a lot of time in the Rivian lately. And uh, that is because I am just doing the drive to work, but we are gonna check out FSD now for the second time. So the other day I tried it out uh, basically as my very first uh, exposure to it. I uh, was not super impressed to be honest, but uh, today we're gonna give it another shot with our uh, like five mile if even commute. Uh, to the train station and see how it does there. Uh, so we've got a little bit more traffic probably today, but also a pretty easy route. So come with me and let's drive. Let's ride. All right, so first off, I've got to say, I am really not a big fan of like this visualization thing. I was waiting and waiting for this to come to our Model Y ever since they got rid of like the, um, the radar-based distance control. And uh, it is not very helpful, to be honest. It, uh, the visualization here is just, um, I mean, I, I don't know, it's like some sort of weird abstract art and um, just not super helpful, especially in the garage. It just shows like everything is being close to you. It's yelling at you to stop even when you're going the opposite distant uh, direction from things. And uh, that has just not been super awesome. So anyway, we are gonna now, let's uh, get our route in here. So we're going to train station over here and go into this parking lot. All right. All right. Here we go. So we are immediately on FSD here and we're accelerating very fast. And what's it going to do here with this car? It's going to go around. Okay, good. Uh, not really enough distance there. Okay. We'll take over there. All right. Now let's see what it does at this intersection. This intersection is terrible. And uh, wait, it's not our turn. Yeah, because it is a two-way stop only and a lot of traffic on the cross street here. And uh, it really relies a lot on kind of making eye contact with people uh, to do stuff. So, all right, we'll get going again here. That is not a traffic light. That's a flashing school uh, zone sign. And then we here we get everybody stopping and turning to go into the school. Traffic with the buses. Um, Okay, yeah, I mean, like, this part is not surprising, it does well. It does it does great when there's other cars around and it's basically just following somebody. But yeah, at that uh, intersection back there, you can't just be the first one to go, uh, especially because the other side always kind of gets lined up with cars. So there's uh, always a lot of, like, traffic there. All right, I would say we are closer to this car in front than I really find uh, acceptable. All right, there we go. Not bad. All right, so up here we've got a right turn coming. I'm gonna bump our speed limit a little bit here. All right, so I would start signaling about now because this one is right, not bad. Uh, this turn is like a little tricky just because you get a lot of traffic both ways and it's again a two way stop. Uh, and a little bit like of an unnatural four-way intersection there where the roads are not all just meeting. So that was not too bad. All right, now. Okay, we've got a car just decided to go across. All right, not bad. It didn't brake super hard or, or speed up or anything for that, so that was pretty good. And okay, we are cruising along here, not bad. So for whatever reason, like, it doesn't seem to really want to go all the way up to the speed that you set. All right, now this part of the road is always interesting because there are cars always parked on both sides and there's not enough room here. Okay, well, that was very good. I would probably would have used a, I mean, there's no cars coming, so it doesn't matter, right? but, but if there were cars coming, I would use a turn signal just to show that we we're gonna be coming over the line there. But I actually did that very naturally. That was excellent. So we've got a bulk pickup right now uh, in the town. So there is a lot of stuff just laying around on the sidewalk and a little bit in the road. And it doesn't seem to be freaking out too much from that. We got landscapers out. <laughs> I think I got a little freaked out by that. Yeah, it doesn't know what that guy is walking. Okay, turn signal even though the road just goes this way. Fine, better safe than sorry. 
right, are we gonna pick up speed at all here? There we go, finally. All right, so far so, so good on this uh, little route here. It has done a good job with the exception of like our coming off of our road. All right, now we've got a guy running out in the street with soccer balls, car facing the wrong way here, and uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> good. Uh, should have stopped there, good. All right, pick back up, make a little room here. All right, a little close there on the right, but not horrible. That's kind of the thing, like it, it feels like when you're in the passenger seat and somebody else is driving, it's like you get close to stuff and you just kind of go, Ugh. Even, even that car there that was still a little closer than I would have liked to have done. So for anyone interested, this is FSD. Uh, okay, all right, good job. Uh, this is, what around here? Software V12, FSD 12.3.6. And we're on software version 2024.14.6 now. All right, good, all right. Nice early signal there, good job. Going to a nice break, uh, stop here, right at the line. Now, I would definitely inch up and I would say probably could have gone there. But now we're gonna let this truck go. And let's see, uh, I would not pull out in front of this Jeep, but then we're gonna get stuck here with this other truck. So come on, let's inch, 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 no. All right, well, we're just gonna wait. Okay, wait, there's a truck there, a car. Okay, and now we're gonna go. All right, and we're going, and all right. All right, not too bad. Sometimes you just, you gotta be a little patient with it. Uh, I would have at least been like creeping a little bit to kind of show that I was gonna go, but uh, honestly not too horrible. Why are we slowing down so much here? Just go, come on. All right, I'm overriding with the accelerator there because that was four. I guess it was slowing down because of the blinking light there, but um, I wouldn't have like come to such an aggressive slowdown there. All right, now we're coming through Madison now, where we usually have a little bit more traffic, more people on the side of the roads and stuff. But you also have these nice big shoulders, so no cars in the street. Hello, Tesla. But it's recognized that the right lane there is a bike lane. Nice. All right, and we've got, okay, so it, well, it thinks that this is a red light, which it's not, but, okay, interesting. <laughs> That's sort of interesting. So I don't know, oh, why are we stopping? Nobody going? Okay. Uh, I don't know if it recognized the crossing guard there with the stop sign or not, but um, it did the right thing there and, and slowed down, which is good. I don't really know why it like, wanted to come to a stop at the end there, but uh, that's something. And now uh, this car is just gonna go, right? I mean, uh, okay, good job. All right, now we need to be in the right lane here to go straight. Uh, nope. <laughs> Wasn't sure where to go there, huh? All right. It should know this route. I drive this every single day, so it should have plenty of uh, data that it has been trained on for this. Okay. And we're going. We're going, yep. All right, now this turn up here should be interesting. You go under like a little railroad bridge thing and it's a hard left there, unprotected from the light here. There's no like turn sig uh, greens, uh, turning arrow. And you often have a lot of cars coming, although it looks like we are probably gonna get lucky here and just be able to go kind of right through uh, if we speed up a little bit. All right, well, we got lucky. Oh, that was close on the, on the uh, little tunnel thing there. All right, now is it gonna figure out how to go in here? Oh no, it's just gonna stop me here. All right. Is it? Oh, it has to go in here, okay. Careful on the curb there, Tesla. All right, awesome. So now we are in, and navigation is complete. Does it know to go, I wanna go in this? No, <laughs> I wanna go this way, come on. All right, now, excuse me, squirrel. 
The other thing we can try here, oh, is it gonna recognize a spot here? Yes, it is. Now, yeah, let's park, okay, park. What do you have to do, park? Start, start, or don't park. All right, so we get two for one here, little, little test. All right, so we're gonna use auto park here. <laughs> okay, not bad. It looks like we're coming maybe a little sharp on the right. Uh, very close, very, very close. Okay, no, we're good. Excellent. Boy, it's working the wheel there. All right, nice. Well, that was a pretty good park job. I'm gonna be using that actually maybe more than FSD. All right, we're here. Great job. All right, we'll use it on the way back home now too. See how it does there. But yeah, not too bad. I mean, uh, you know, I would overall give that like a somewhere between like a C and a B. It was mostly good, except for like the times you got to be awake and ready to take over when it does something weird, like totally stopping at that intersection or uh, trying to cut everybody off at that light or the not light the um, stop sign uh, right by our house. But overall, not bad, and uh, got us here all in one piece. All right, all right, we are back. So. We can go home now and let it just take us. Okay, doesn't want to let me go. All right, there we go. So, okay. <laughs> Aggressive trip. All right, so let's see how this does now. Uh, let me think here. Yeah, it should be pretty much easier uh, heading all the way home. And, um, all right, we can probably go a little faster here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we shouldn't be like, so, do you want to turn car? There we go. Um, yeah, we've got like more uh, protected turns and more like right turns uh, than on the way over here. So uh, really not bad. And we were stopped very far back. Oh, 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 oh. Person coming. So I gotta, I gotta get used to just letting this go by itself instead of constantly intervening. But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Okay, let's see the car, it does, it does. Okay, there's a car this way. See, I don't know if it can actually see here. I guess it can see better than me. I guess the cameras are all the way in the front uh, there, so probably do better than me. It's always awful turning onto this road. There's just constantly cars coming both ways. And it's very hard to see around all the bushes and stuff here. And there we go, okay. We are off. Uh, I'm gonna hit the car side there. Yeah, so the rumor is that in the upcoming version, and the rumor you know, came from Elon, uh, that you'll have less of this like nagging to turn the wheel and stuff, which uh, I'm a little bit torn on. I kind of like that it is enforcing uh, you to be paying attention and keep your hand on the wheel as much as you can. But it's also weird, like when the car's you know turning that hard, it's hard to keep your hand on the wheel, uh, especially with like uh, how hard it kind of torques the wheel sometimes. Yikes, okay. It doesn't seem to like to kind of turn out to take a, a wider turn. It seems to just kind of figure a way to stick itself in there. All right, we've got our light here. There goes my bus I like to take sometimes. This light is a bit of a long light. Let me just skip out of this part. Okay, we got a green arrow that always fools everybody. Did not fool the Tesla. Yeah, I do like, the, oh, this is pretty cool visually. Is it, how did it see all this going on? It's like a drone view. That's honestly fairly impressive. Look at it all go, it's like SimCity. <laughs> I feel like I need to set a default speed uh, offset here of like five miles above the speed limit. It just, I don't know, it always feels kind of unnatural uh, to be going exactly the speed limit, especially around here. All right, oh, yeah, it always thinks that this light is a red light and then kind of changes. Okay, go, there you go. I think it thinks that the blinking yellow maybe is like a yellow that's changing to red. Now we're back to like our regular driving visualization here. I kind of like that overhead one though, that was cool. Here we've got 
got some bikes up here. It has noticed both of them, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, kind of uneventful to be honest. This is going quite well. So we're gonna be making a right turn up here in a little bit. Beautiful day, turned nice. Rain's finally done, of course, it's Monday, so why wouldn't the horrible weather be done? We only get it on the weekends. Yeah, so with full self-driving now, this is, uh, so you, everybody gets this 30-day trial. A little bit of a harsh break there, that wasn't really needed, but okay. Um, yeah, so everybody gets this 30-day trial now, and that's to attempt to, uh, depending on how you look at it, either showcase this to more people that maybe, you know, aren't familiar with it and haven't tested it out, or it's a uh, desperate money-grabbing venture. But between that and the lower price now, so this is, instead of being $200 a month, now $100 a month, and I only look at that monthly price, I would not buy, buy this outright, especially with how long we keep cars. We never keep them more than like three or five years, and uh, think this will be no different. And, all right, good job there. Um, uh, because of that, I would not pay the thousands of dollars for uh, the long-term purchase of full self-driving, especially since it does not transfer from vehicle to vehicle. But on the monthly price, $100 a month, like that's starting to get to the point where I would at least consider that for like a, a long road trip. So we've got a big road trip coming up from New Jersey here to Boston for Memorial Day. And then we've got a big drive going all the way up to Montreal in June for the Canadian Formula One Grand Prix. And I could see on both of those having uh, FSD for like the, the surface streets and then enhanced autopilot, which is one step above the normal autopilot on the highways and it'll do like lane changes and stuff for you. That would be pretty nice. $100 is like just close enough to uh, what I would, you know, uh, consider paying for that. So we'll have to see. We'll have this still for the Boston trip uh, with the trial, but then the Montreal trip in June is just far enough away that we won't anymore. So I'll have to de debate whether, well, I don't even know if we're gonna take this car, if we'll take the Rivian, or, uh, and if we do take this one, it might be worth paying just for a month for that. We'll see. All right, so this is doing great so far, to be honest. Uh, I'd say even better than yesterday. Maybe I'm getting a little bit more used to it and kind of getting used to like how it does stuff and not freaking out as much. Up here, we've got a landscaping vehicle parked on the side with traffic cones all around it. So we don't have a car coming toward us, which would be the real test, but it's just always nonstop uh, stuff kind of alongside the road here. Looks like they didn't come through to do the bulk pickup yet. All this stuff is still here. All right. It does not like to go all the way to the speed that I set on this part of the road. I don't know if it's just like too much input, it's overwhelming it or what the deal is. Doing fine. No issues, even with the giant army truck over there. All right, nice early turn signal there. I like that. Fan of that one. Slowing down here. So this this uh, turn did uh, give it some trouble the other day when we first tested this out. So let's see. Yeah, we we're like, it loves to start way far back, which I guess is technically like what you're legally supposed to do. Then it kind of creeps a little bit. All right. All right, not bad. I mean, it kind of got a little lucky break there, but sometimes you get a lucky break in life, right? It does not like to avoid the potholes though, ouch. All right, so we're almost back. So I guess time to wrap this up. Yeah, this did great today. I'd say better than last time. Uh, and again, I don't know if that's just because I'm a little bit more used to it or we got a little bit luckier today and the weather was nicer and stuff, but did a good job. I'm pretty happy with it. I would I would bump this all the way up to like a, like a B even. Only things that really struggled with were uh, in the morning, uh, turning out of our road here. And then just now, it just made me nervous about that person who was crossing the sidewalk. 
but I think it probably would have been okay, but certainly not worth the risk. So yeah, we're back now. All right, that was uh, that was not bad. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and um, yeah, I'll be using this a bit more now. This is getting to the point that I definitely what? Let me definitely feel comfortable um, departing late. Finally. I definitely feel comfortable using this a uh, little bit more around town now. It's, uh, it's it's not bad, but I would absolutely use this like nonstop on the highway, which I know is technically not FSD, but is uh, enhanced autopilot, but it's a little bit blurry, like which algorithm it's essentially using at that time, but whatever. Uh, so I am certainly good with it for that. And we're gonna keep using it as long as we've got this trial now. And then at the end of it, we've got a big decision to make. So yeah, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And with that, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you out there on the road.